How's it going everyone? Combo here. Today we got 5 quick tips with the hard light. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. Starting things out at number 1, we have element choice. Now as you may or may not have known, swapping to the different elements on hard light are going to change the way the gun functions in its stats department very slightly, and I believe solar to be the best. Here's why. Solar gives you a bonus to airborne effectiveness and reload, which is quite noticeable in gameplay and something you can always take advantage of. Void gives stability and aim assist, which in my opinion is negated by the catalyst as it gives a big bump, and Art gives handling and range, which doesn't make sense with hard light's intrinsic perk. Next up at number 2, we have ricochet variation. So to understand how ricochets work, we have to know how many times it ricochets. For hard light, that's going to be 3 times off the ground, off a wall, and to the ceiling in this case. In my opinion, for the general uses, your best case is going to be the hit fire when you are ricocheting, as this is going to cover a larger area and give you a higher chance of hitting the target. Now, if you know where the target's at, of course you can aim down sights to make it more precise, but generally speaking, when bouncing off walls, your best bet is to hit fire. Next up number 3 we have damage locators, and what this essentially is, is by using something that deals damage over time, we can use the numbers that pop up to allow us to place our hip fire shots much more accurately and kill targets behind cover more consistently. Number 4 is going to be weapon pairings, and the best for hard light are the obvious ones, snipers and shotguns will always work, but also by using grenade launchers we can find targets with hard light, shoot grenades off corners, and get some pretty cool kills. And finally, in number 5, we have the exotic parians. For Warlock, it's going to be Verity's Brow. This just essentially allows you to get more grenades back, and especially when using solar, trip mines work very well. As we discussed, solar is the best for this anyways. For Titan, it's going to be Actium War Rig for a slew of benefits, mostly being the fact that you can just spray at walls forever, and just lock down chokes for pretty much as long as you feel like being that guy, which is very fun and effective. And finally, for Hunters, we have Kefri Sting. This allows you to put down a smoke bomb and see targets behind walls. And when you're banking shots off walls, the best thing you can do is find your target. This will allow you to be very precise and definitely catch people off guard. 